Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? Hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully all will have a better tomorrow. So, I want us to have another discussion today, and this one is actually kind of interesting, and it's about, did Yang really meet up with Raven at the end of Volume 2 after the credits? So, you know how they always have an after the credits scene? Well, I kind of wanted to discuss this one, and how it's actually kind of interesting. Well, anyways, so sit back, relax, and I hope you all enjoy, and let's go ahead and get this very interesting discussion started. So now, a lot of people haven't really discussed this a lot, and this was kind of something to me that I thought I would bring up, because this is very interesting, and, you know, Volume 5, I wanted to wait until Volume 5 was over with, because, you know, there could have been a, you know, whole thing brought up about this between Raven and Yang, and I wanted to see if this was actually confirmed, or if, you know, this is something that is just, you know, not even there, like, didn't really happen. And so, of course, you know that after the credit sequence was, you know, Yang, at the end of Volume 2, Yang is walking, you know, in the front of Beacon. And you see, you know, obviously Raven, the masked woman, that was standing there, and, you know, she takes off her mask, and, you know, Yang obviously asks who she is, and she goes, you know, Yang, we, you know, we need to talk. And it's very interesting because we saw Raven actually first appear during the fight with Neo when, you know, Yang could have actually been killed by Neo, and then Raven comes in and stops this from happening. Now, it's very interesting because after that, you know, the real big confrontation we really saw was in Volume 5, and we didn't see one prior to this. Now, of course, the events of the end of Volume 2 is very interesting, and even in the vault, even at the bandit camp, there was nothing brought up about Beacon or Yo know, Yang or Raven talking at Beacon. So this has led me to believe something, and you know, you you may think this as well, and you may not, but um but this is what my opinion is, and I hope you all let me know what you think, but I think that it never happened. Now the reason why I say this is because, you know, obviously at the end of volume two, before the credits, Yang even says herself that she is going to get some sleep, get some rest after the events that had occurred. And then of course there's the credits and then after that, that's when we see, you know, Raven and Yang, and it's just a very interesting little sequence because, you know, we don't have anything happen. Of course, even Crow brings up that he talked to Raven and said that, you know, during Volume 3, and said that, hey, you know, your mother won't be so nice again because, you know, she saved you once doesn't mean she'll do it again. So, that means in between 2 and 3, there was a conversation between Crow and Raven, but it never states, even in Volume 3, Raven, you know, was never brought up by Yang. Not once. It was never, it never happened. Like, you know, Yang never said, oh yeah, I talked to my mom. That never, she never said that. And then, of course, we get to Volume 5, yet again, it was never brought up. So, what I think actually happened was, I think it was a dream sequence. Now, of course, how dreams work, they go into your subconscious, it has to do with your subconscious. And, you know, it's interesting because maybe what was on her mind was the individual that saved her. And, you know, maybe she knew that it was her mom because she knew what her mom looked like. So it makes you kind of think, could this have been possible that she was just thinking about her mom and then her mom came into you know, her dream? Like, not really actually coming into her dream, but a fabrication of Raven within the dream. And I don't really think these events happen. I don't think that, you know, Yang and Raven even talked at the end of Volume 2. I don't think that actually happened. I just think it was a dream because... You know, it just seems like it would have been brought up. It seems like, you know, something would have happened um, because it wasn't, it was never brought up. It was never discussed. And in the moments that, you know, at, whether it be at the camp or it be within the vault, you know, there could have been a moment to where this could have been brought up, that this could have been discussed and it was never talked about. So in truth, I really don't think that this happened. And because, you know, Raven even stated to herself that, you know, in this dream, as you were to say, um, stated that, you know, she needed to talk to Yang about something. Now, of course, we do know also that Raven had believed that the fall of Beacon would occur. She did, be she did believe it would happen. So, this makes you think, um, if she did talk to her, or if she could have, you know, she could have come to her and talked to her. This was actually the case. It could have even happened right then and there. Yang could have actually known a bit more, or, you know... Something else could have happened, she could have just walked away, but realistically, you know, Yang was so, you know, invested in trying to find her mom that I do not think that that actually happened. I think that it was a dream because Yang wouldn't have just walked away from her mom. You know, she would never have done that. And so I do believe this is a dream. And it just seems like the sequence itself, because, it, you know, the background, the coloring, it just seemed like it was, you know, a fabrication. It seemed like it was a dream. It seemed like it was not a real event that was actually going on. 
And, you know, and, and it, you know, it doesn't seem like it really happened because nobody brought it up. And that's, that's the biggest thing is that nobody discussed this. There was no, oh, I've talked to you before. You know, I want to talk to you again. None of this happened. None of it was brought up. So I think it's a dream. But you let me know what you think down below, um, whether you think it's a dream, whether you think it really happened. Uh, just let me know what you think down below. And thank you all for watching. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. And hit it with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And share this with your friends if you found this informative or useful. Well, anyways, you all take care of yourselves. Have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and everyone around you.